Bowser on the other side of the border. We actually landed right on the border in Stardust Field, which is really lucky. Why are there stars under us? Whatever. Huh. Well, well, talk about a nice surprise. Check it out, bruh. Looks like the famous Mario Bros. have arrived. Man, that really brings back the good, the good times. The, the memories, doesn't it? Good times, good times. So what's up, brother Zem? Are you two heading off on a journey together? So you probably want us to let you pass, huh? Yeah, I'm sure you guys know this is the border of the Mushroom Kingdom. That's right, it's the border, and since we're the border security, we can't let you in until you do some jumping worthy of the Mario name. Want to do the border jump? I like how they actually call it the border jump. That's not illegal at all. It's just a game of jump rope. You have three lives each. And in a speed run, from what I heard, you actually have, you actually want to get rid of your lives. Um, because it's... Because the amount of lives that you had, like, is the amount of fireworks at the end of the journey, or at the end of this game. So there, I'm at one life, there's only going to be two fireworks. You could always jump twice, again, if, you're, if you aren't sure. That was some incredible jumping. There we go. You could also, you, like, like, as the game progresses, the, um, that flagpole in the in the background will actually go higher and higher until it reaches the top. Just beyond here is the Bean Bean Kingdom. You'll be extra careful when traveling there. Now this would be where I just continue to this spot right past this bridge, but what I want to do is actually go back and collect, um, um, when you beat a mini game in this game, um, they give you beans. Um, the first level of the mini game, they give you one bean, two for two, three for three, but four for five. So what I'm gonna do is just keep playing the border jump, um, the different border jump levels. So I'm gonna show you once of each, and then I'm just gonna keep doing at the hardest level and um, rack up, I think, 35. They almost tricked me there. And... And we should do that, okay. And... Yeah, no. Yeah. I wasn't sure there. Yeah. Okay, I'm just being real sure. And there, that's the end. Man, very cool. That was some incredible jumping. We could always just skip this a little bit. You cleared level two. That was some great jumping. How about a beanie reward to commemorate it? You can't find this type of bean just anywhere. All yours. And here we go. I think these are tea beans? No, no, no. There's, these are he beans. There's he who... Um, there's he who woo and chuckle. These are, these are he beans. I know, they're all based on like laughs. It's stupid. He beans, there, there. That, that was, that was your proof. Time for border, super border jump. So there's border jump, border jump two, super border jump. And then the last, the last one is kind of funny. This one is deceptively easy at first. Yeah, I can't believe I did that. And here comes the clockwork. And there we go. That's level three. Okay. Bean time, yeah. So now we have five. The next one will give us five, so... At least we'll be an even number. And now there's Super Border Jump Sunshine. Uh. That one's a little hard to dodge. Uh, here we go. Now here's the weird part. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, now here's the easy part. Just mash A and B. Get one, two, three. One, two, three, jump. Jump. See, there you go. Yeah, okay. 
I'll be right back. With 35 he beans. Be right back. Oh yeah, also if you press no, want to take the complete border jump. The challenge of the complete border jump. So, um, if you want to rack up on beans, that's not the most efficient way to go. Because... Um... Because you only get seven, even though it goes through literally all of them, and it's kind of hard because you have to like go through all on three lives. So not only is it difficult, it's um, it's not really worth it time-wise. And there we go, guys. We finally have 35 beans. As soon as we pass this bridge, hold up, bros. Since, we're on, since we've been on duty, two of the first people ever to cross our border. I mean, ever. You gotta commemorate this occasion by giving you this. You got a Bean Bean map. There we go. It's kinda useful if you don't know the game that well. Basically, you check the map and you can see everywhere around you. It's not like a um, perfect map, but it just shows you a general idea of where you are. This green pipe right here it doesn't really lead anywhere right now, but it sets a warp point. Right now we have warp point number one, and there's a total of nine, I think. Like, I mean, as far as I've seen, there's nine. There might be more, I just don't know them <laughs> If in that case. Wait, did you see, like, a white flash? Whatever, maybe I just... Maybe, I, maybe I'll look, look that back if I saw it or something. These, um, these spikes right here, try to... Try jumping on them, and they'll make you fly back. With, with either brother, actually. Well, Luigi apparently doesn't want to touch them. See, it's funny. As long as you can get, you can safely get there with Mario, then it's okay, pretty much. See, logically, I'm not really touching a spike right here, but it still sends you back. Anyways. The spikes are actually supposed to be a defense system. You know, I don't know why there's a defense system when there's the border there. Like, there's already the border. These enemies, you want to avoid fighting them for now. Because they give you coins, but it doesn't matter how many coins you have here, you'll lose every single one of them right now. Oh, hello! It looks... Uh, halo. <laughs> halo. It looks like Bowser. Hello there, sir. Mario, great timing. I can use a hand here. Look, keep your die jokes to yourself. They're not funny. Just get me out of here. <laughs> Oi, could it be that Bowser, the great Koopa King, has fallen into my can? Nyeh. <laughs> How amusing. Who dares speak to me so? <laughs> I'm Tolstar, the greatest and famed king of Stardust Fields. I've heard the tales of you, but you aren't very impressive in person. <laughs> If you want me to get you out of there, little people, you must pay in coins. I will set him free for all your coins. It's not fair. Oh yeah, he'll keep this event a secret. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Well, these are Mushroom Kingdom coins, aren't they? This is the Bean Bean Kingdom. I suppose I'll have to calculate their value in the local currency. Yeah, basically, um, the Mushroom Kingdom's coins are worth shit. So, hyperinflation is canon in the Mario in the uh, Mario world. That's kind of sad. So now, every coin we collect in this place is officially now Bean Bean. You want to take it slow with these blocks, because once again, sometimes it eats your input. Now it's time to fight enemies. You see, you see, it sort of lagged after I hit it for a sec. That's, that's kind of the timing that I'm used to. It's kind of weird in the Koopa Cruiser, but anyways. <laughs> so apparently these guys have five health, so I already did two, three, and this should kill him. Oh, never mind. Luigi's just OP. They give you a few coins, so... 
21 we have right now, so that's good. Eventually, if you run out of enemies and blocks, you can always talk to Tolstar and he'll just reset all the enemies. So you can just keep fighting, gain experience if you want, although at some point the experience won't do anything because you're just that good. As you can see, the oh, there's a lucky hit right there. That has to do with, your, like I said, that has to do with your stash points. It also um, gives you a discount in the market for how good your stash is, which is kind of illegal if you think about it. But I mean, it's just a video game, whatever. As you can see, speed has everything to do in this game. That's why, without like, not only making Luigi a powerhouse, I also wanted wanted to make him pretty fast. Which is, that's going to be his two main, uh, strong points. Um, speed and power, which is good. Yeah, these bullet bill cannons, they can just take a while to kill, because they have extremely high defense. Well, I mean, at this point in the game, I don't think they're that good later. Regardless. Mario gained a level. Let's see. I'm going to increase his HP a little bit. Whatever. At least I'm happy. Um, can we reach? Can we actually reach that? That must be like a extremely difficult jump if it's possible. No, I don't think it's possible. It's like a pixel off or something. Oh, syrup. Yeah. Um, that restores your bros points. Um, and bros points are used, um, well, we'll find it out really, really soon, actually. Hello there. Sergeant Starshade, the shooting stars we just witnessed perhaps are an alien bombardment. Oh, we're, we're an alien bombardment, perhaps. Okay. In the name of Starshade Brothers, we will find the alien scum. They will rue the day. General Starshade, sir, I have confirmed... I have conferred the presence of a suspicious unknown entity. It's a vivid green color that that pierces the eye. Yes, I didn't confirm, so however, I see not green, but red. Urgent, pursue additional visual contact immediately. Hello there, sir. Nope. Oh, no, no. It's a mirror, except... A, d a d delayed mirror. <laughs> yes, no, no, no. Oh my god! Um, yes. This Mario Mar thank you. <laughs> Mario go boom. Oh credible, it is none other than the Mario than Mario from the Mushroom Kingdom. Luigi said he confirmed. Sergeant the Starshade. Change of mission objective. Obtain autograph stat I see. Okay, yes. They're talking about bros stacks. Undergo training, yes. Here are our bros moves that we will that will be affected by the back player, the person on B. Hi. Love that. The moment you jump on him, press the B button. Another theme in this game is Mario is squishy, Luigi is solid. Don't think about that too hard, but seriously. So for example, when you jump on Mario, he squishes down like that. Another thing is later with the, um, when you get the hammers, when you smash Mario, he turns smaller, which would also make sense. Spin! <laughs> like that. Which would also make sense for him being squishy, as he, like, can squish down to a smaller size. And for Luigi, he just burrows his way underground, because he's just that solid. And here, once again, jumping on Luigi with this spin! Again, when you switch places, now Luigi's in front and Mario's in the back, and Mario initiates the move. See, Luigi can handle Mario because he's just that solid. Now, they don't, they don't make it clear, like, what's your distance on this. So they saw that you could, they went like this, but you only have a limited time. So get to the edge here and do that. Excellent. Yeah, all right, we're... We're just trying to get to that flag up there with our new found bros moves. Squishy Mario, the high jump. Another high jump. A high jump is probably more used than spin jump. 
in this game. Although, Spin Jump does have, like, uses like this. It's just not quite as much. Also, if you notice at the end of a Spin Jump, um... One brother kind of, like, always takes, like, a that much of a step back. However, if you barely get to the... The edge... Uh, uh damn it. I want to get back up there. If you barely get to the edge of a platform like this... It won't take as much of a step back. You see, Mario didn't take too much of a step back. Same thing right here if I do this. See, he doesn't fall off or anything, so don't worry about that. You got syrup. And this could help you a little. Um, if the, the brother in the back gets hit by an enemy... I'll show with Luigi here. In the overworld, that is. There we go, Luigi got hit. He'll go like, Wah! That's not good, you, you you waste a turn with him. Oh, uh, well, he gets back on his feet after, once it's his turn. So he might take inevitable damage. That's another instance of sort of inevitable damage, but if you can manage to um, not get the the back brother hit, then you can, you can still avoid it. That's the thing about it. Anyways, so what I'm going to do right now, I know there's going to be a lot of cutting out and stuff, but I'm going to um, destroy all the enemies in this area. Level up a bit, you know, that's always good. Okay, we can even get a three here. We only got a one, whatever. And um, doing the first strike will help a little bit. I just took a hit right there. Oh yeah, also healing is a little strange in this game. In the sense that, well, yeah, you, you can... Nothing strange about the uh, mushroom... The mushroom items that you can use to heal yourself and revive and stuff, but... Um... Here, I'll... Um, let me demonstrate... Let me demonstrate what happens when one brother... Uh, dies... Oh, never mind. Whatever, I'll demonstrate in the next battle. Oh, no. So there, you see, you're in a bad situation when one brother is not on his feet. And this is what happens. He still didn't die yet. God damn it, Luigi. Luigi OP. Okay. There we go, Louis, Luigi's down, and you have to dodge attacks. That one didn't count. So it's, a, it's actually like, your inputs are a little delayed because um, it takes a while to... Um, if you're holding someone on your back, it's kind of hard to jump or use your hammer. So, yeah, when you're on defense, it's kind of a nightmare. But these bullet bills aren't too bad or anything. Also, if you either win the battle or run away from it, which also I, I might show running away a little bit, but all it does is you run and you waste some of your coins. And then your brother actually makes it back, although he has one health left. That won't be too much of a problem in this area or even during the boss. But no, 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 I had coins there. Damn it. Just like in uh, typical Mario platformer games, it, if you, there's a coin block that has multiple coins on it, um, after you hit it once, there's like a timer, and you better start hitting it before the timer goes off, like a lot. And it's time for an emotional reunion, apparently, even though it's been like a couple seconds. This is an emotional reunion, sirs. By your leave, this is something we completely forgot to mention to you earlier. Affirmative. You see, when you master technique in the field, you can also use it in battle. That, that's this is in the sense with bros moves. Since you have ma mastered the high jump and spin jump, you can now use the techniques in battles. We must confirm technique mastery in combat simulation. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a little too much. Woo, 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 woo. Never mind, that's just the last one. Not too big of a deal. There's not even multiple, there's just one. He doesn't even attack. He has like infinite 
HP, though, because they, they want to make him a dummy to actually practice your moves on. Okay, so... Basically, we have Splash Bros, which is so similar to the Spin Jump. Here we go. Halt! As you see, it grown, it's grown dark. Basically, it tells you what button to press. There we go. And the last one. Wow, did I... Is it, like, frame-perfect? No, okay. During the last one, um, if you don't press it in time, they'll actually stop you again and say, this is the final movement, it's the most important, it'll do the most damage. Oh yeah, so if you press the, the L and R buttons, it's different, they're different moves. Sorry, different modes based on the bros moves. Some, the later, I can, I can I'll explain them right now. Yeah, let's let's skip some of the tutorial dialogue. They're not really that important. I won't go over them too much. Basically, um, enter, entering a battle here. Um, this way, your bros moves. So as you saw, you saw the timing for Smash for Smash Bros. <laughs> that actually kind of works. Anyways, um, two like like they said, it does it without without the slow motion, and three does it without the action icons. So if you've mastered one and you want to go on to two, it's best just to go on to three because you know what all the icons are if you've if you've been practicing. So here we go. Let's try it on the fighter fly. Fighter fly. That's kind of a nice name. So anyways, there's sort of a visual cue for Splash Bros, but not quite as big of a cue for Bounce Bros, which is Luigi's um high jump um, Bros attack. See right here. Um. Mario jumps on Luigi, that's one. Lu Luigi is right under Mario is another, and then they, them hitting the enemy is the last visual cue. For Bounce Bros, it's not exactly a good visual cue. See, I'll... Um, this is what happens. Luigi's on top of Mario, then Mario is in that position, and then they're... In fact, I'll... I'll show it... I'll show it in slow motion so you can see. Uh, it's not... Okay. Right there on top of Mario, and then Mario is in ready position. Then, right on that last hit, you saw they were, like, approaching the enemy, like, quickly. They actually appro approach it really quickly in fast motion. You have to be ready for that. You also have to be really conscious of when Mario is in, the, is in his I'm-ready-to-fight mode. See right here. That is hard. That is... Especially because it's like an off-screen jump. It's... Oh my god. Yeah, that, that is one move where you really have to get used to. And it just sort of becomes like obsolete once you... Um, once you learn later moves. Although, there's also... With every bros move, there's also an advanced version of that move. In which... Um... Nice. Three. That's good. In which... Um, you can press a different um, input, and it's and it creates a much more like damaging move usually. Um, you get an advance after you use a Bros move a certain amount of times. Splash Bros is actually a good a good move, especially for its advance version. In fact. So, we want to keep using Smash to event spl Splash, not Smash. We want to use Smash Bros until we eventually get the advanced move, which is really good. We want, we want that. We can use it one more time. So let's do that right here on this guy. Again, I find this move really easy to use. The advanced move is also kind of easy. I don't know why Luigi's doing less damage. Maybe he just needs to level up to, uh... Or ma maybe maybe the uh, defensive stats of each of them change? I don't know. Each of these spider flies. Yeah, that must be it. I, I don't know. I really don't know.
jumped. Just a bad jump actually does away with them very quickly. So we're actually going to increase... Um, now, you know what? You know what? I'm going to be bold and say, let's only give Luigi um, power and HP. No, no, power and defense. We're doing this. Okay, so if you look closely, it's only one and two. But there, there is, there's a three somewhere in here. Whatever. Still gave a one. I don't give a shit. Now that's a little bit deceiving. This area right here. Because if you look here, all the way here, it kind of looks like you have to spin jump all the way here just to get on these platforms here. However, you could just high jump there. All right, we're out of we're out of uh, syrup for both of them. Well, I mean, Luigi has two bros points, but that's about it. What I actually tried to jump there, but I, I don't I don't know what's going on here. Maybe it's my controller. It's getting a little delayed here. Um, yeah. So, okay, well, I guess I just mentioned all these enemies are really easy to, to dodge, easy to counterattack. They're really not too bad in general. You know, I'm thinking I might even get the, the advanced version of Smash... Uh, Splash! God damn it, can I say Splash? The advanced Splash Bros. Um, by the end of this area, once during the boss or something. Yes, again, I wanted to say healing is a little weird in this game. How it... You can use, you know, mushrooms and stuff. However, I already have a hundred. Actually, let's 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 go to the boss. Um, you can use mushrooms and stuff, and that'll heal you just fine and all that. Um, but when you um, there aren't any ne necessarily any places where you can just fully heal, you know, like the Pokemon Center or something. You actually kind of have to use your mushrooms, which isn't too bad in towns because you can just buy them, but. Also, after bosses, it heals you um, automatically. Oh, let me out of here! <laughs> Who said I'd do that? You Welcher! <laughs> Time for the boss! You're not in the Mushroom Kingdom anymore. Outsiders be gone! So we're gonna start off right away with some syrup for Mario and some syrup for Luigi. Actually, you know what? I don't like... Uh, I uh, we don't need syrup for Luigi. I don't like sp I don't like um, bounce bros anyways. But I do like smash splash bros. Damn it! I'm gonna like I, I might even have a counter for the amount of times I say smash bros instead of splash bros. Sorry. Isn't that a nasty attack? Even watching the hand I throw it with won't help you. Yeah, y you know that would have actually been nice and a good way to introduce the fact that you can press A and B uh, at the same time, but. It, he really does change his attack based on which hand he throws. Or, he changes the target based on which hand he throws. Like, God damn it! Oh yeah, when he, when he when he laughs like that, right then, that means that he's going to throw a move that he's going to throw a block that <laughs> he's going to throw a spiky ball that bounces over the brother. Also, sometimes he does two moves in a row. And, and he'll laugh, he'll laugh, um, right before, um, only right before the move that will bounce over the brother. So right here, um, he's throwing two in a row, and wow, I just barely dodged that with Mario, was it like frame perfect? This should kill him, but I'm gonna say, with this guy, um, he might laugh the first time he throws it, but when he, if he's doing a double attack, the second time, if he doesn't laugh, he's not going to bounce over. You have to jump for that. I know, this is a little convoluted explanation, but I'm trying to cover all my bases. Oh. See, for example, see, he laughs the first time. If he didn't laugh that time, I would have to jump again. Just, just, 
clearly being a bit of clearing a bit of confusion. Oh, that sucks. Mm. I'm gonna be healed after this battle, anyways. And we're almost done, anyways. We're almost done, anyways. And anyways. And ow! Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> why did I do that? That was dumb. And this should kill you. Boom! And I think uh, Mario will level up. Yep. Level five. We're getting there. Slowly. Huh. HP, I like HP. Let's let's increase HP for Mario. And Luigi level up? Nope. Okay. Nipples. You, sir, have been griping far too loudly for some time. Why, hello there. But don't do that. That that's just mean. Gah, Mario. Green stash! You gotta pr you gotta get Princess Peach's voices back! It's all up to you! Boom! Eh. Well, now Bowser's gone from the um from the game for a while. Right here, um they're either enforcing the um the high jump or the spin jump. See that you can high jump over there or you can spin jump. However, not like not that you could do this earlier because Tolstar stops you. Like if you get close to him, then like he'll be he'll initiate a cutscene, and then after the cutscene's done, you'll step back, you know, counting the amount of coins you have. You can make that with a very very well timed jump. In a speed run, in a task, that's that's excellent. Um, because it it because it sort of slows you slightly down when when doing a um high jump or spin jump. Same thing with there. I think that's about the same jump. You fiends! But, uh, wh 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 what is going on? We, we found you at last! You scum! What have you done with Prince Peasley? Yes, there is no mistaking. Er, there is no mistake. You kidnapped Prince Peasley. We have witnesses. Now confess, villains! Hello there, sir. <laughs> What's that? You say you're Mario and Luigi? Listen, bald-faced lies. Or li oh, lies. Bald-faced lies. The, super st the superstars of the Mushroom Kingdom would never come here. That's kind of... That's kind of, like, self-pity right there. They're not lying. They say that they've come here chasing someone called Kekaleta, and they're really, really tough. They don't look tough. <laughs> Oh dear, oh my, oh, oh boy, pardon us, sir, so sorry. See, our kingdom's Prince Peasley was kidnapped by someone. Or so recent reports of our Hoo Hoo village claimed. We have been looking for any sign of the perpetrator. According to eyewitness accounts, the prince's cap kidnapper wore an odd helmet and spoke of mustard and fink rats. That is all we know to go on. If you come across anything, please let us know. Reopen the investigation. See, I wonder who that could be, huh? You know? Like, I really have no idea, actually. Like, we... Yeah, the, the game doesn't really make it clear who it is at all. They're not subtle about it whatsoever. So, you might be a little confused of who this perpetrator might be. Like, really, um, I'm lost. Like, who could it be? <laughs> okay, let me just shut up now. Blah, 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 getting some items and shit. High jump, high jump, high jump. It, it is the high jump, Luigi. Thank you for noticing that. Right here, this um, this spot right here is for a later character, uh, sort of a like a pterodactyl-looking guy. We can save whatever we want, but I think I'm gonna go through one more boss and then uh, I'll call it quits. Whatever that noise is, guys, can you quit it? Oh, there's the Fink Rat guy. Give back Prince Peasley! Nope. LOL. Minyak. You again? You're a pair of Fink Rats that swooped in with the Bowser that I hate. <laughs> I say to you, 
Well, I was busy with Peasley. You've been catching me. I have fury. Cacletta has already begun smearing the butter of her next tasty plan over Bean Bean Castle. Since you two cannot make it in time, I say, I say to you that it is better never to, is better never than late. So here is your halting place. I have fury. Since you will not be shattering the stone, I laugh at you trying to climb down the mountain. Like I was like looking at you like with arms crossed, like nope, <laughs> nope. I need to do like that team fortress. Nope. That's yeah, that's hilarious. Right here, this isn't. This is just kind of a side area, and could be important later if you come back with with better moves and that you learn later. Um. Yeah, you can get some items here. I think you can get even a gold mushroom if you come back with the moves I was saying. You just get a lot of coins for later in the game. It's, it is important to get a lot of coins. There's one place where you actually have to spend like 500 coins. So wow, like I mean damn. So if you go in here, this guy, no matter how much you try you can't knock me down. And if, if you, um, the later move that you can, you can knock him down, ironically. Um, and there's a mole back there that'll give you, I think, the, um, golden mushrooms. Um, right here, here's a watering hole. If you, Luigi eat, drinks some water, he just can't stand that shit. Um, actually, if you read here, beware of overhydration. If overhydr- if overdrinking symptoms appear, stomp on the victim's head. Spitting excess water on objects in this area is strictly prohibited. So that means you gotta do it. Anyways, if Mario drinks it, because he's fat, it makes him even more fat. Go figure. And if you shoot it on this fan right here, you get a coin. Sometimes you get a mushroom, but basically that's the idea. You get shit, you get good stuff. Actually, I'm getting kind of tired. Um, so, let's enter this place. It's the last stone. Now we, sh we show the true spirit of the Hammerhead Bros. The stone's our last shot. And what are they going to do? Are they going to make hammers with it? Nope, they cracked it. And basically, these guys are the Hammerhead Brothers. They can make hammers for you. Go figure, you know? Proving that you're Mario and Luigi <laughs> by jumping. Oh, these guys! These guys are annoying. Uh, please go talk to some people. Oh, this guy. Go ahead and talk to villagers for a while. Like the game doesn't tell you what to do. But when you come back after you've you've seen Baffle and these guys, now they're finally gone. So basically, the Hammerhead Brothers tell you to go fetch a specific, um, a certain block from high up in the mountain. And we're going to get that in the next time. So, we will save in our first area that we've saved in, Hoo Hoo Village. Thank you guys for watching.